Well, welcome to Bethel High School for tonight's varsity girls basketball game between the Bethel Bruins and the Hampton Crabbers. This is Frank Edgar along with Wube Gabre getting ready here for a good night of basketball at Bethel High School. Wube, we got a good one, good matchup here tonight. Two different, two different types of teams, both athletic. Absolutely. Both teams are definitely athletic. Bethel, somewhat of a rebuilding year. Have a lot of young talent, young raw talent. Hampton with some great guards and a great post player. So we should see uh, what happens tonight. And Hampton with a lot more experience playing as a team. Bethel losing eight seniors to graduation last year. So they have one senior on the squad. Uh, a lot of young ladies that haven't played together. But uh, we'll see how they, they are very athletic and uh, very talented. Let's just see how they can match up against this very good 12-1 and one Hampton squad. Yeah, you lose eight seniors, two Division One guards, and a great and Williams, uh, George Mason, and VCU, respectively. So it's going to be hard to replace them this year. But, you know, uh, Coach Dean is a great coach. Uh, she's a winner. So hopefully she can turn it around. Well, Michelle Dean, the first-year coach for the Bethel Bruins, and we got a chance to spend a little time with her before the game and learn a little bit about her philosophy and her background. She comes from a strong women's basketball background in Tennessee. And um, I know the Bethel fans are glad to have her here hitting the program. We're going to get ready now for the National Anthem at the Bethel Gym. A nice crowd that's funneled in here to Bethel High School this evening. And both teams lining up, getting ready for the starting lineups tonight. Again, a senior-heavy veteran squad from the Hampton, uh, the Hampton Crabbers, and uh, less experience, but is, from what we witnessed in our viewing of practice, equally athletic team from Bethel. Absolutely. They have two great young stars in Totten and Davis. Uh, they're both sophomores. Had a little bit of varsity experience last year, um, but... Um, Again, like you said, they have a lot of raw talent, and Coach Dean comes from Tennessee where she won a state championship as a, as a player, so she's trying to bring that, that experience and that, and that wealth of, of knowledge over to the Bethel Bruins program. Hampton Craver start tonight, Armani Franklin, number one, number five, Amaya Ray, number 11, Destiny Robinson, number 20, Jayla Mickey gets the start tonight, and number 32, Nina Okafer. For the Bruins tonight, you see number four there, Paris Williams, a freshman. Number 10, Jelani Davis, a sophomore. Number 32, Ariana Totten, a sophomore. Number 42, India Hansley. And I believe number three was Empress Palmer. We miss her. Uh, Empress Palmer, a, a junior. So the, the, the uh, oldest on the floor yeah. for the Bethel will be a junior tonight. You can see the difference in the, the grade level. Uh, there's a good boys game after this game tonight, so you'll see the crowd fill in as they get ready for a good matchup between the Hampton Crabbers and the Bethel Bruins on the boys basketball. 
Yeah, we got a chance to talk to uh, both coaches uh, earlier, Frank. You talking about the girls? Yeah. Yeah. We had the chance to spend a little time with Michelle Dean. And then, of course, with our friend Sean DeBailey over at Hampton High School. All right. Here come the Cravers. Well, we've got a minute here. Let's sit it on and let's we recorded our interviews with the coaches. Let's send it today. Let's talk first to uh, the visiting coach, Sean DeBailey. I'm here with second year head coach of the Hampton High Crabber, Sean DeBailey. Coach Bailey, got a, had a really good year so far, 11 and 1. Uh, what are the fans going to see tonight when they watch the Crabbers on TV? Well, I hope they see us playing a good defense, uh, sharing the basketball, and um, keeping the whole team involved. I hope it's, it's just a good game. I hope that's what they notice about us t tonight. I know you have some standout individuals you want to introduce to the fans. Uh, name a few of them, and, and what, to, what, what do you expect out of them tonight against the Bethel Bruins? I would um, have to start off with Destiny Robinson. She's a junior for us. I think she is our hands down our most consistent player. Um, I tell her almost every day that she, to me, is so underrated in the district. Um, Destiny averages a double-double. She is good for at least 10 rebounds a game, uh, 12, 14 points a game. She's very active around the basket. She plays excellent defense in the post, and she plays hard for 32 minutes. Um, now you got someone else that gets her the ball at night. Who's, who brings the ball up for you? Um, we split that, uh, that duty between either Amaya Ray or Armani Franklin. Um, either one of them are capable of playing on the post. Um, for me, that night, it just depends on who's having the most success at that position, uh, and I have them interchange a lot. If I feel uh, Amaya's doing a great job of taking her player baseline, I'll ask M Amani to play that position and feed Maya on the wing. Maya can look in for the post, or she can drive baseline, or we switch it up. It depends on man-to-man -man play or uh, zone play. Now you've got some youngsters that play uh, a lot of minutes for you. Can you identify some of those? Lene Stokes is our freshman. She does a great job of shooting the basketball. Um, she's still learning the game, but she loves to be around the ball. She's very tenacious on both ends of the floor. And she plays hard for 32 minutes. I have to give her that. Um, she did a great job the other night against Warwick on sparking our offense to bring us back in the game. Um, you can't leave her open on the wing. She's just a good player on the offensive end. Now you're facing an athletic Bruin team. What do you do? Have you going to change anything you've been doing all year against the Bruins, or, or, or what do you got in store for them? Um, I, we've had success at what we've been doing, so I don't see us changing very much. Um, I think the first game we probably beat them by 20 or 30, but it was a great game. So the score is not indicative of the play. Um, I think that we're going to look to watch our fouls a little more. Um, we tend to be overly aggressive sometimes on the defensive end. So we'll just look to do that, but we're still going to pound the ball. Um, up the floor. We're going to look to be active on defense, apply some pressure, and play basketball. And you know it's going to be a hostile environment over at Bethel. What do you think about playing in that kind of environment? Well, hopefully our girls are up for the challenge. Um, a couple of them aren't used to that type of crowd, and I think the TV game kind of makes them nervous a little bit. Um, we'll try to get there early, get a good warm-up, and just get ready. Very good. Well, good luck to, to, against Bethel and the rest of the season. Hampton High, Hampton High's coach, Sean DeBailey. We've got a minute here before we start. We'll send it over to our interview with Michelle Dean of Bethel High School. I'm with Bethel head coach Michelle Dean. Michelle, welcome to the community. Welcome to Bethel High School. This is your first year as head coach. Yes, sir. Well, it's good to have you here. Tell us a little bit about your Bruins. Uh, well, this year we are a young team. Uh, we graduated eight seniors last year and uh, basically our whole starting lineup. So. Um, Consistently, we start around three freshmen and two sophomores. Um, occasionally, we'll work a junior in there, but basically, we're a young team this year, and um, this program has lots of athleticism. My, head, uh, my assistant coach and I are working very hard to instill discipline and to really just change the culture here of um, you know, working very hard with the athleticism that we have and instilling discipline in our program so that these ladies have fundamentals and athleticism to be able to perform at the highest level. 
Well, tell the fans in Hampton a little bit about some of these ladies you have here at Bethel this year. Well, starting point guard is number 32, Ariana Totten, and she is um, very athletic. She can shoot the three. Uh, she, she, when she wants to play, she can pretty much do anything she wants. Um, she's a sophomore, so she's young, and we're learning through um, just some, some game time decision making, and we're helping her grow in that area. Um, down low, we have India Hansley, who is our who is our big man inside, and she is a beast on the boards, and uh, she is getting she is developing her shot in and around the basket. Um, on the perimeter, we have Paris Williams, who is uh, she's a freshman, but she's a very promising freshman. Uh, she has great size, great speed, great strength. Um, she's new to the perimeter, so she's learning how to uh, be a guard in that area. She's very athletic. She has tons of natural athleticism. Uh, she has a good three-point shot. She's great off the dribble. Uh, we also have Jelani Davis, who is number 10 for us, and she is just uh, just as strong as she can be on the glass. Um, she also is um, working on her offensive mindset and just really looking to, um, to take what the defense gives her and score. Uh, but she's a tremendous rebound rebounder for us and helps us out tremendously. We also have Empress Palmer, who is uh, she's also a guard for us, and uh, she did not receive a lot of playing time last year so this year as a junior for us um, she's really getting a lot of opportunity she helps us out a lot with her speed she's very scrappy she gets after it uh, and she also has developed a good three-point shot that's helped us well you started a little slow this year with a yeah. bunch of young players yeah. but you've come on strong in the last few weeks what's been the change well, you know, with these girls, time and consistency, um, just coming into practice every day and then really buying into the system uh, and believing in what we're trying to do is huge. Um, like I said, you know, last year we had we had guard, Lexus and, uh, and Naira, they were our guards and they could do anything that they wanted to. And this year it's, it's just completely different. We have young players who lack experience. And so trying to keep them to focus on the little things, the fundamentals, instead of the win-loss record has been huge for us. And um, they're really starting to buy in. Their practice effort is increasing and, um, and we're, we're seeing the results carry over in the game. I feel like each game is our opportunity to grow and uh, we've done well the past few games of taking steps forward and just really starting to build the foundation for this team. Well, you're going to have to grow a little bit tomorrow night because you got the uh, you got the Crabbers. What do, you, what do you think about the Crabbers this year? Oh, I think they're an excellent team, uh, and their record certainly reflects that. Um, they're well coached, and they're very athletic. They're very quick. Um, their press and their pressure and their guards. Uh, you know, Armani Franklin is uh, she's an outstanding player for them. And um, you know, for us, we are going to have to handle that pressure. That's something that you know, if you if you watch them play. They live on their on making the other team play sloppy and turn the ball over. So uh, we're going to really have to depend on being disciplined and handling that pressure. Well, you get your chance with the Crabbers, and the, hopefully the year continues to go well. Yes, sir. Coach Michelle Dean, Bethel High School. All right. Well, it's good to catch up with both coaches. Thanks for sharing their time with us. Coach Great Michelle. enthusiasm from from uh, from both coaches and passion. Well, both uh, young coaches yeah. in in. Shonda Bailey has a veteran squad, but she's only in her second year. Yeah, absolutely. Now she's a Hampton High graduate and a former member or a former assistant coach on the state championship team there. Coach David Six is now at HU. And you get the jump ball. Taken by Ray of Hampton. Guarded by Totten. Franklin drives to the goal. Blocked by, by Bethel. Ray for three. No good. Rebound Totten. She looks up to uh, Palmer. Palmer goes up to the lane with the left hand. It's good. And puts Palmer, the junior, gets the first basket of the ball game. 2 nothing Bethel early. It's, it's going to be a foul. Foul trouble could play into this game. Bethel has 10 players in uniform. Get a good look at Coach Michelle Dean of Bethel. As Ray takes it to the top of the key. Good screen by Okafer. That's a three-pointer by that's looks like Mickey. Looks Mickey. He's a three-point specialist for Hampton, and that's good. It's 3-2 Hampton. You know, told to look out for her. She's got a real good form over there and not afraid to fire off the three-point shot. Tiden over to Palmer. Inside to Hansley. Hansley gets it. Good, good post position and puts it in. India Hansley, a very uh, athletic young lady. Provides some good defense on the inside for the Bruins. 
Mickey goes inside to Robinson. Destiny Robinson and uh, Nama Okafer get the start for the Crabbers. They have three young ladies that are approaching six feet tall, and it's a real benefit for them. Saw her in practice the other day and really impressed with her post move down low as Robinson makes the first free throw. Well, she does. Uh, she has a great form on the free throw line, and <laughs> during practice we saw her just getting a lot of attention from Coach Bailey. Oh, yeah, for sure. Working that post position against the zone defense. Second free throw is good for Hampton. Totten tries to get it over to Palmer. She looked like she was bumped. She lost it, and it's going to be – Let's see what the call here. The referees are going to talk about it. It's going to be uh, Bethel's ball. As Davis will take it right in front of the Hampton bench. Davis to inbound. In the Totten. The Totten loses it and it goes back to Hampton. So turnover for the Bruins. They really can't afford too many turnovers against these uh, Crabbers. Good look at Ray and Armani Franklin, the transfer from Williamsburg Christian, who's been a great addition to the Crab Lady Crabbers this year. Armani Franklin, one of what we call a Watford grandchild. That's right. Cousin to Marcus Hagens and David Watford, and Dion wow. and Daz Newsom. Yeah, big big family. Tyrell and Dante Wilson are related oh, yeah. there. They're oh. cousins in there somewhere, but it's a wonderful family of. Uh, ten children, all of whom went to Hampton High School. Great. Anita and Tyrone Franklin are the parents of Armani. Meanwhile, Robinson with another bucket, and she was fouled. She's on the free throw line now. Looked look like it was a lane violation on that play. So Robinson will get one more free throw. Destiny Robinson, good-looking prospect, and she makes a second free throw. It's 8-4 Hampton, 6.26 left in the first quarter. So up, skip pass, a little too high for, for Davis. It's going to be Hampton's ball and a Bethel turnover. Turnovers can really hurt the Bruins here. A team like Hampton, very good in ball control. They run a full court press. They'll do it often for the whole game. A lot of speed on the outside for the Crabbers. Ray over to Mickey. They're going to call traveling on Mickey. Good defense by Bethel. We got a good view of Ariana Totten, the sophomore, number 32, bringing the ball up. She's really the key on trying to keep this team moving. Well, good pass into Davis. Davis takes the layup and misses the easy layup, but gets the ball back and puts it in her left hand. Good, good play by Davis to stick with it. Jelani Davis, the sophomore. So 8-6 Hampton. After the Davis bucket, Franklin. Totten with good defense on Franklin. Is it going to call a, it's like a travel or offensive, offensive foul? Couldn't see it. And a call from behind her. Surprising where the location of the call was made. But Armani called for leaning in a little too much against the defender. Franklin. I'm sorry, Palmer over to Totten. Totten inside to Hainsley. Hainsley takes a, a jumper, no good. She gets her own rebound. Back over to Palmer. And it's intercepted and it's taken away by, by Ray. Ray goes up for the layup and it's good. And she's fouled. So yeah, good steal by Ray, Amaya Ray. It's a good shot of Amaya. She provides a lot of energy. She plays point guard, shares the point spot with Armani Franklin. And if we heard from Coach Bailey earlier, yeah, just depend on which one feels like is in the best place to, to, to run the point. Yeah, like she said in the interview, they're interchangeable to go back and forth between Ray and Franklin who bring the ball up. That time Ray did it on the defensive end, getting the steal. Free throw's good. Well, it's not 41-6, to six, but <laughs> uh, we'll get the score corrected. Another steal by, by, uh, by Ray. Now the ball's going to belong to the Crabbers. So it's 11-6 uh, Hampton early on. First time these two teams met, Hampton won by 30. So let's see if the, the Bethel girls can, can make this one close and even try to go for the upset as Totten almost travels but gets rid of it. 
picked up by Ray. Ray over half court, bounce pass to Mickey, but it's intercepted. Looks like it's going to be a foul on, on Hampton. It looks like Mickey was being a little too aggressive on that one. Yeah, ball gets away. Another turnover by the Bruins, which is, again, deadly against a team as good as the Crabbers. So. Looks like Hampton is sticking with that token pressure. As you see Ray coming over with Franklin. So lots, lots of little fouls here yeah. so far in the ball game. And it'll add up if they're not careful. It's going to be Bethel's ball in the Totten. Oh, good steal by Franklin on Totten. Just picked her pocket and she gets the easy two. Timeout Bethel. Well, it shows you the speed uh, of Armani Franklin. When she, when she wants to turn it on, she's a, a danger against the opponent on the defensive end. She can do the steal. She can pass the ball. She can shoot from the outside. Really has all the skills you need. Here's the, here's the replay. Look at that. Just an good anticipation on the crossover by Totten. And she's right there with, for the easy two. Good looking prospect there as well. See Hampton huddle. Coach Shonda Bailey has them uh, well. It's a well-oiled machine as we get to see a little bit of practice. It's Bailey, former former play, for, former player for the Crabbers, 1995 graduate. She coached a state championship team with David Six, so she knows all about the program. Good press again by Hampton as they caused the turnover. Probably one too many pass that time, and she was wide open for little jumpers. Oh. Chambers, another freshman, gets in for Bethel. They're so young. Good sky hook by, by Okafor. Rebound by uh, Davis over to Totten. Good, out, good pass to Totten, but Totten cannot handle it, and she loses it, and it goes out of bounds. It's going to be uh, Hampton's basketball. Well, the promise of the athletic type of game really does uh, has pay, played out so far. Three-pointer, no good, and Williams gets the rebound. No basket. They're going to call it on the floor. And like the coaches were saying, uh, you know, over at, over at Coach Dean over at Bethel, Frank, they're so young. They only have one senior, and the senior Raven Peoples does not play as much as the younger players that they do here on Bethel. As Paris Williams, another one of those freshmen, it, it gets on the ground. It's going to be a tie-up. It's going to be Bruins basketball. They're going to keep it. And right now, Bethel has two freshmen, well, two, two sophomores. And, and eight seniors that graduated last yeah. season, so... It is tough to make up for that loss of the, uh, the senior class. And two great Division I players went on to play Division I basketball, Alexis Great and Naira Williams. Three point by Totten, no good. And it's good. That foul is going to be called on Bethel's Paris Williams, it looks like. That's Lene Stokes, another one of those young players, trying to get the rebound, and she was tripped. The coaches really like her, too, Frank. They said she's still learning, she plays hard, only a freshman. Here comes Franklin. This is the key to the whole, to the whole team. With Armani Franklin, the transfer from Williamsburg, Christian, and Surrey. Cross pass by him. Ray. Freshman Stokes takes a three. No good. Rebound by uh, by Ray. Ray shoots it, and it's missed. Totten gets it, and she's tangled in by Okafor, but she gets it. Tries to dribble. She dribbles through everybody. <laughs> Goes down the court. Totten, no call on the, on the play. It's going to be Bethel basketball, but. Good play by Totten. Well, we saw her energy at practice, Wu Bay, when yeah. she, they, they ran a lot of drills, full court yes, drills. They, they looked very similar to that last play. A lot of visitors tonight at the yeah. ballgame past Art Jones coming in, Art, the former Hampton High star and NC State player. See Marcus Hagens, a former Crabber, come into the game. And a Hampton High graduate, UVA coach. Good that they kept him on the program, Frank. Get some of these Peninsula players up at UVA. They come to see uh, one of the boys players for Bethel. That's right. Franklin, guarded by Totten. Good crossover by Franklin. She goes to the hole. She's fouled. No good, but good play. Well, Franklin creates the gap. Does very well finding a hole to get to the hole like what? So Franklin's going to be on the going to be on the line. Armani Franklin 
Marcus Hagen's from Virginia shaking hands with us as Armani lines up her first free throw. It's no good. She's hit some key free throws, though, including the other one night against Phoebus, where she hit the winning free throw. Her parents, both Hampton High grads, yep, both point that. guards. Good article by Kate from the Kate. Daily Press. With a Kate Yanchul is one of our favorites and a I'm very sure good she'll sports be here tonight. Runner. Second free throw is good, 14-6 Hampton. Really Hampton. impressed with Bethel's poise. They're young, but they're hanging in there, only down eight early. Now Hampton's pulled the press back. Another turnover by Bethel. Liana Chambers with the uh, off the tip of her hands. So it goes into Ray. Coach Junior. Ba Coach Bailey told us we'd see her at the point in yep. time. We see Armani Franklin at point. Both of them interchangeable. Ray gets a screen by Franklin, goes to the hole, tries to get to Okafor, picked up by Bethel, and this is the freshman Chambers trying to dribble through too many players that she gets around. Good play by Chambers, but can't dribble through five defenders. Franklin gets it, goes up for the layup. Good play by Totten. She was there, no call. Nope. Franklin scores. Totten uh, curious about the call on that one. Didn't get it. It's a ten point lead now for Hampton. 16 6, 2 18 left in the first quarter. Good goes pass in to Hainsley. Hain Hainsley takes a shot. Good shot by Hainsley. Sophomore, number 42. 16-8 Hampton. Now Bethel can do that. They'll, they'll draw closer here. That's good patience by the Bruins. Coach Dean says she's a beast on the board. As you saw that nice turnaround by Hainsley. Franklin guarded by Chambers. Goes in to Ray on the wing. Jelani Davis checking her on the wing. Ray goes in the hole. Good move by Ray. Easy layup for Ray. Right behind, right, in, right over, uh, over Davis. Well, the athleticism shows up again. See if the Bruins can be patient here and look for Hansley underneath. Chambers, double team. <laughs> Going to be an offensive foul on Bethel. Looks like it was called on Hansley. She's trying low. to clear the room. And Crowd. she's going to come out. Crowd filing in, Frank. It's going to definitely be a sellout. Well, if they're not in by now, they, they, the line is already around the, there already in the in? hallway, yeah. Here comes Franklin at the point now. Looks inside. They're playing, matching them against the zone. Franklin. It's Raven People. She's the only senior on the team. She's in the game now. And Destiny Robinson for the Crabbers trying to find a spot on the block there. Couldn't get it. Good steal, oh, good steal by, by Raven Peoples, the senior. Over to Totten. Under a minute left. Knocked out of bounds there. That's a Lene Stokes with a defensive play. <laughs> Jelani Davis inbounds. Into Tally, Amani Tally, no good. Okafor with the rebound as Franklin gets on the on the peel out. Totten's there again. This time, no good by Franklin. O Okafor with the rebound. She is playing great on the boards. I'm sorry, that's 11, Destiny Robinson. I apologize. Hampton has the luxury of three six-foot young ladies that play the block. Robinson, number 23, Deja Thompson, and of course, Emma Okafor. Yeah, that's uh, Robinson. That's Robinson, great free throw shooter. I think I might have misspoken earlier and said it was Okafor. But Robinson's the one who's been getting the great free throw shooting. Second free throw is good. It's off. I'm sorry. It looks like it's going to be a, a lane violation on Bethel. That's the second one tonight already. Good shot there, Destiny Robinson. Second free throw, good. Great stroke by Robinson. Well, takes advantage of the lane violation. Now the, the kind of a token press. For Davis, ah. Tally able to retrieve that bad pass. Over to Totten, Totten for three. No good. That should have been for four. Yeah. As far as the way she was. But Stokes gets the rebound over to number four. 
That's Jada Wilkins, a sophomore. Freshman Davis over to Franklin, fakes the three, goes into the hole. Great move by Franklin. She misses the shot. D Davis with the rebound. Seven seconds left. She goes through a double team. She's going to throw it away. It's, I don't know. I think she was looking. I think she thought Titan was going to keep running with her. And with three seconds, she probably should have expected it. Didn't have it again. Young people playing together for the first season, really getting to yeah. play a lot of time. And Franklin with a pass to Stokes. Stokes for three at the buzzer. No good. Stokes is the one that can really let it go, though. Yep. She, she'll let it fly in most any situation. So the Crabbers got a 12-point lead here after the first quarter, 20-8. to eight. Foul starting to add up a little yeah. bit on the Bruins. So Hampton is, at, as advertised, a quick, scrappy. They press. They have athletes. And Bethel's just a young team just trying to find themselves right now. Well, I have a feeling they'll put a press on here and you know put a press the, the, the game a little bit. They 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 keep up with Hampton athletically. It's the passes that really they have to they have to be careful with. So we got some uh, some old graduates of both high schools yeah. filing in now filing to catch in. this yeah, game. I love to see this. Cam Perry, if you remember yeah, Cam I remember Perry played state with championship. won the state title in 2012 with That's Anthony right. Barber and Sammy Royal. And his brother Jordan, Trey. Jordan Baker. Jordan Baker. So having another terrific year at Old Dominion. Yep. With Jordan Baker. And they'll be getting a another crabber next year. And that's Marquise Goodwin Godwin is who we'll see him at on the boys game next. So 28 after one in a crowded gym. I don't know what the attendance here normally. I guess <laughs> to see the boys play, they use the girls get the good crowd. Yeah. Always good to see people come in and watch girls basketball. It starts a little early. 5.30 starts. But, but you, as you said, you have to get in early to see the boys game, so why not watch the girls game while you're here? And it gives a good atmosphere here at Bethel High School. Franklin. Over to Ray. Double team by Bethel. It's Totten and Davis. Double team is, it looks like Totten was called with the foul. Uh, dangerous picking up fouls for her. They, the Bruins going to need her to run this offense. She comes out, and that's her second. It's a big, big loss for, for Bethel. She, she runs the show. It's going to be it's going to put Hampton on the line yeah, and shoot two. And that's early in the second quarter. Ten yeah. personal fouls. So this is number five, Amaya Ray. Ray's first shot is no good. And Bethel's senior, Raven Peoples, is back in the lineup. The only senior, Frank, on the roster, which is Second free throw is, is good by Ray. And Bethel turns it over on the inbound play. That quick. I think they were anticipating the press and just got a little antsy. Ray with the inbound over to Franklin. Franklin really impressive. I like the way she runs the show here for the Crabbers. That's number 20, Mickey. She loses the ball and Bethel gets it right back. Well, Hampton working a lot of players in here just in the second quarter. Another bad Franklin. inbound play. Great, just great body control under the basket. As Bethel calls a full, full time, time out. out. Well, Coach Dean's going to settle them down a little bit. The game's starting to get away from them here early in the second quarter. 23 to 8 here with 7.41 to go in the second. Here's a bad throw in by Bethel's number 10, Jelani Davis. Just nobody over there. Yeah, you see Franklin gets it in. Great body control and puts it in. Well, Bethel's going to have to put at least three back to yeah. get that ball in safely against this. What is it, essentially a token press, but right. when you only have two back there for the offense, that one can guard the one inbound play player and disrupt it. Bethel cheerleaders there. It's going to be a loud ball game tonight. Oh yeah, for sure. And probably get loud here in the second. Second quarter, if the Bethel girls could draw this game a little closer. And you get a good look at the Bethel huddle with head coach Michelle Dean, her first year as a head coach, who was an assistant coach last year. She comes from Tennessee, Frank. Clark, Ray, Clark Range High School, where she won a state title 
her senior year as a player. She was the MVP yeah, of she that. she was. Great. Played at Great University of Alabama career. in Huntsville. Huntsville. Yep. yep. And now she's here in the peninsula in the Hampton, Newport News area. As Raven Peoples gets it over to Jelani Davis. Davis was good, good press breaker by Bethel. They just could not get it inside. Well, Jalen Raines had to pass. She couldn't make it, though. They had her teammate wide open underneath the hoop. But good ball movement by the Bruins. Jelani Davis to throw it in. That's Five. the freshman. Ayana Chambers. Ends up on the floor, but it's going to remain Bruin ball. I mean, last year at this time, she was playing middle school ball, and now she's on the varsity level. So what an adjustment for her. She limps off. Well, here comes Totten. Yeah, they need Totten back in. She makes. She's the playmaker of the Bethel Bruins on the offensive end. Totten extremely athletic. Let's see if she can keep it under control here. Inbound to Reigns. Reigns over to Totten. Totten tries to dribble through three defenders. And if she was able to pull up, she'd had a nice little short jumper. Not able to keep control. Mickey. Good steal by Raven Peoples, the senior. Just has to there goes the token pressure, as you talked yeah. about earlier, Frank. Raven Peoples has to dribble the ball, and it's a, another timeout by Bethel. It's, it's going to be a 30-second timeout as Raven Peoples had to bring the ball up. She was getting pressured. So Coach Dean having to call some early timeouts here, trying to keep her team close. 23-8 here with still seven minutes to go. Well, you know, as we watch both teams in practice, we we, we, we we were struck by the level each team was on. Both very athletic Absolutely. squads. Yep. Both good good speed on each squad. Hampton with a few more uh, what I would call centers or forwards, number fours and fives for you basketball folks that could play down the block. Now Okafor in the game for the Crabbers, number, wearing number 32. It's just Bethel has a lot of... What does it call it? Untapped talent. They just have so much raw talent. And less experienced talent, exactly. too. As you said, they had eight, eight seniors last year, and a lot of these players did not get that much time as Franklin gets the steal off of Raven Peoples. Oh, good hop step by Franklin. Good shot. She was a great, great player to watch. Well, again, the, the pass is there, but not that one. And she's going to have to have it. First of all, the Bethel girls have got to come closer to each other. Totten Totten. all the way. Good play by Totten. 25-10 Hampton. Well, you can see the potential there. Good hustle by Davis, but she's called for traveling. So the two sophomores showing a lot yeah. of energy. And Bethel's going to put a little bit of a press on. Again, they're, they're fast enough to keep up with the grabber. Franklin, started by Davis. Totten comes over. She's got to watch help. it, so no she's getting more fouls over to Ray. Ray inside to Mickey, stolen. It's going to be over to uh, to Davis. Davis with the layup is good. So the pressure is helping out for Bethel. It's 25-12 now. So four quick points for the Bruins. Bring them a little closer. Ray, double team. Good crossover on Peoples. Ray with the left hand. Goes into the hole. Good pass. That's Mickey. And Mickey with the layup. And a beautiful pass. Yes. A no-look pass there. There's Franklin with a just call for the reach. Well, reaching with the right hand. Can't do that. They're going to call it every time. The Bruins, that four-point burst they needed. Let's see if they can keep up the string. Almost a little crossover by Totten, but Ray's, Ray's right there on defense. Well, the offense, the, 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 the two wings seem to be re withdrawing from yes. Totten. They need yeah. to come and take a step closer. 551 left in the half, 27-12 Hampton. Good pressure by Ray, but she's and no foul, no foul call on that one, but this is going to be Bethel's ball from the inbounds. What I like about Coach Dean is she's she's teaching a lot of good fundamentals. Yes. We saw it yesterday, and that time you saw her showing Totten how to get her body position so she would at least draw the foul on a play like that. Totten over to Raven Peoples, hop step way off, and it's going to be Davis called with the foul. And that's a player they can't afford to have foul out. Yeah, Davis or or Totten have to stay out of foul trouble for him for Bethel to stay in it. It's hard to do when there's been 11 team fouls called on the, on the Lady Bruins. Yeah. That's two now on Davis, two on Totten. The 
It's going to be Franklin at the line. First free throw is good. Franklin's got a real nice stroke there on, and from the free throw line. So third high school Franklin in her career. Went to, was in Surrey High, then transferred over to Williamsburg Christian. Now she's over to Hampton. Well, they moved the peninsula, and I guess you want when your your parents are crabbers, you want yeah, to you want to you want to yeah to put your name in the record books with them. Raven Peoples throws it away, but it's going to stay Bethel's basketball. Well, it shows you a little bit about the speed of Destiny Robinson. She's very quick, being despite being as tall as she is, one of the three six footers for the crabbers. One of technically five eleven, but I, I would say with those <laughs> tennis shoes and socks, another turnover by the Bruins. Ray free throw no. Taken away by, looks like, Robinson, Destiny Robinson. And the turnover ball, held ball is going to be given to the Bruins. Oh, Peoples comes out for Bethel. In comes number three, Empress Palmer. A lot of the Lady Bruins in foul trouble already, so Coach Dean's going to have to work, keep the squad together out there. Hampton again in that press is Totten just lost it. Maybe thought about where she was going to throw it. And just, just lost it. 28 12 Hampton. You see Ray in the in, going to inbound. Peoples comes back in for Totten. Well, I like the emotion from Totten. She just, she, that time she was trying to look up and just not, not that type of skill, not there yet. Mickey for three. No. Good rebound by Robinson. Left hand. No. Gets her own rebound. This time she's fouled. Good, good work by Robinson, the junior. Well, sure is strong underneath. Good body position. Yes. Driver's trying to push it out again here. They, they lead it 28 to 12. Good shot of Destiny Robinson. Free throw. Great free throw shooter, Frank. Nice stroke. Only a junior. She'll be back next year. Yeah, she'll have to deal now with India Hans Hansley. Hansley back in for the Bruins. Oh, and Deanna Guild steps in, number 33 for the Lady Bruins. This one is barely gets iron. It's going to be Bethel's ball. Davis on inbound. More token pressure by the Crabbers. He's been causing a lot of problems for Bethel. This time, Raven Peoples gets it in the corner. Not a great place to have it. Davis gets it. And almost a travel, and they're going to call the travel on number 33, Deanna Gill. Gill just came in the ball game too, and she saw the, the open player, her teammate, India Hansley, but couldn't make the pass. Now, Coach Dean's got to be pleased that they're seeing the play, right. they're just not there yet against a very good 12-1 Hampton squad. Mickey inside to Robinson. Good move by Robinson. And we talked about this at practice yesterday, how coaches really want her to get open and call for the ball. It looks like she's getting a great... Well, great post position. If she gets the steal, Davis gets it back. This time she tried to throw it in. It was four on one there for a minute. To Travis. Peoples. Peoples double team, and she's going to be called for traveling. Very impressed with Robinson, Frank. Calling for the ball, getting good well, post position. And not only that, but Coach Bailey was showing her yesterday where she wanted her right. to keep the ball. Not Don't do that little one dribble that so many big big players had that trouble. She didn't. She kept she it gets up. gets it and goes. Right. Little spin and shoot. Skip pass over to Mickey. Mickey for three, the lefty. Good. Good shot. We were warned about her yesterday and her skill with letting it all go. There's the pressure again. Davis gets it and Raven Peoples is not ready for it. They throw it away. 34 to 12 now, Hampton. Yeah, the turnovers are piling up now. They probably have more turnovers than they have points. But I will say this, the turnovers are coming on the plays that are there. Right. They just got to work together, play together a little more. We're only midway through really this team's first season. Exactly. Ray, over half court. Franklin, thought about the three. Good pump fake. Over to Mickey. Robinson, great, great move by Robinson, but she loses it and goes out of bounds. Well, Raven Peoples with a nice hand in there to help out her defender behind Robinson and is able to get to tip the ball off of Robinson. Davis trying to dribble into his double team, and she loses it. And Mickey gets it with the left hand and puts it in. Bethel's going to take another timeout. Coach Michelle Dean has seen enough. She's going to call a timeout, full timeout. And she's going to run out of timeouts here soon. 
Got to try to keep her team in the game. They, yep. they trail it now. They're essentially three, one, three to one, 36 to 12. Well, the one thing, the Bruins can, can certainly run with the Crabbers, but the organizational skills are what Coach Dean's still working with. And you know, see almost a carry the there, the high dribble, but yeah. got away with it and scored. She's a good scorer. She We've is. Seen that's five in the last minute for her off the bench. You know, the first time seeing Hampton in person, I'm really impressed with their guard play. Franklin, great playmaker, has great footwork, great, great awareness on the court. Mickey's a good three-point shooter, and then you have you have Robinson on the post. Well, as we were watching the press, the practice, uh, Coach Bailey had him practicing against this two-three zone, yeah. and it over and over and over again to get the, the, the her, her taller players to move find the open spot right and the guards to see the gap as she called it yesterday the gap to see the gap and try to hit the gap with the dribble drawing the defense you see Paris Williams the freshman another double team good trap they're gr doing a great job of tra trapping people gonna take a shot it's gonna be off it's gonna go out of bounds to that's a ruin ball it. yeah so people with a nice shot Davis with the inbound. Into Hansley. Hansley. Hansley misses. Mickey with the rebound. Strong left hand stop. Good, good. And she's nobody's going to pick up. Takes a three. No good. Robinson battling with it under the basket. And goes out of bounds. Mickey's one they're going to have to to really keep their eye on. Mickey the junior. Williams, the freshman for Bethel, over to Raven Peoples, the senior, the only senior on the team. Another trap as Lene Stokes, a freshman for Hampton, picks it up. Hampton keeping the pressure on the Bruins. Oh, over to Ray. Ray tries to, looks like it was a pass, and they're going to call a foul. Look, is on number 33, Guild. Deanna Guild may have gotten her first there. Hard to keep track of the team fouls now, but it's about 13. The scoreboard goes to 10. Amaya Ray on the line for the Crabbers. Ray's first free throw was good. Well, the one thing that the Crabber guards, they have to shoot free throws because as quick as they are, they're going to get steals. They're going to draw fouls, and they've got to be able to hit those free throws. Second free throw by Ray. Good, great free throw shooting team, which is a good sign for, for Hampton. Well, again, the quickness is going to cause the fouls to be called. Paris Williams with a great shot. Hansley with a rebound, miss. But they battle for it. The ball's going to belong to the Crabbers. But the Bruins getting the ball deep. Hansley that time just missed the layup. You know, she is very yeah. quick. We watched her run the drills yesterday. Very quick. Very quick post player. And I thought a good, good, quick put back on that shot just didn't, couldn't come up with the basket. And they stoked in the Robinson. Good left hook. Man, great play. Way to use a left hand. Yes. Steal by Ray. Up and under move by Ray. And she scores. 42-20-12. Coach Dean Hampton. just trying to get to halftime yeah. now, so we can take the 10-minute uh, timeout. Right. Maybe come back with some, some little combination. Hampton continues to press. As Totten goes in, she tries to break it, and it's stolen by Stokes, the freshman. Stokes doesn't see anything, goes over to Ray. Mickey already hit a couple threes. They're going to call a foul on yeah, Bethel. A little touch foul there. That's a tough call with a 42 to 12. And I understand yeah. they don't play, uh, play the uh, scoreboard when you're the official. That's a tough call when the team's leading by 30 in the second quarter. Paris Williams picks up her third foul.
That is up and is good. So Robin is showing her free throw prowess. Here's Robinson again. Second free throw is good. You see the arm, the angle that she uses there. Yeah. Straight on, perfectly taut free throw position. Totten, good move by Totten. Totten. Free throw's good. I mean, I'm sorry, layup is good. Totten, a sophomore. Stokes. Minute 44. To Ray, Ray. Good pass to Robinson. Robinson, good move. That's her move. But she doesn't get him with the right hand. A little bit out of control that time. Hainsley with the rebound. Mm -hmm. She dribbles out of it. Well, you watch Hainsley at practice. She does do the, the dribbling dr uh, drills very well. So she got herself out of trouble. Three-pointer Three by Davis is no good. Rebound Bethel taken away by Stokes. And she cross up. Good crossover. Ray over half court. Pass over to number 25. That's Alexa, Alexia Brown, the sophomore for three. Totten, guarded by Ray. Totten goes in, up and uh, looks like it's an offensive foul. That may have been, no, it's a, it's a oh, travel. Oh, away, a travel. No, a travel. Okay. That may have been a little generous call there because that was clearly an offensive yeah. foul. Call it a travel, it was a turnover either way. Bethel does not have a large squad. So the foul trouble could really hurt him here in the second half. So under a minute, Frank, 46-14 Hampton. Three seconds on Hampton. Robinson called for that. She got a little, a little careless with her feet. But still doing what Coach Bailey tells her to do, which is find that open spot along the lane. Totten over half court. He's going to go to the goal. He's going to try to get a, a call, and she does. He drew a call on uh, Hampton's number 23, Deja Thompson. So Totten to the line, shooting two. That's a good play by Totten yeah. if she can get that call. I don't think she can get that very often. She got it that time. Free throw is good. Totten with five in the quarter. Get a good look at Totten. A lot, of, a lot of talent. Yes. And good shooting stroke there on the free throw. Don't. She reached. Yeah, Jayla, Jelani Davis just picked up her third. Mm. It's going to be two shots for Hampton. 30 seconds left. 30 point lead. So Ray back to the line. Free throws up. It's good by Ray. Her fourth free throw made in this quarter. Palmer comes in for Davis for Bethel for the last 30 seconds of the half. Second free throw is good by Ray. Totten over half court. Totten goes in again. This time she's fouled. Going to the goal, she's going to get another two free throws. I think Titans decided that she's so quick, she's going to draw a foul every time she does it. And she's proven correct here in the last couple times down the floor. Yep. A little bit out of control, but she finds the gap and able to climb up the taller girls and Good draw free throw shooter too. Yep. Three for three in this quarter. Second free throw is no good. She backed away from the free throw that time, and that cost her the shot. You can see it was short because she stepped backwards. Confusion on what the lane violation was, who, whose violation it, it was. So she, no, the foul was called on the lane itself. So Armani Tally for the Bruins gets a free throw. And she makes the first of the one and one. So Tally at the line. Draws the Bruins within 30. 
Tally is a junior, Frank. Again, a lot of these girls did not have, did not get much playing time last year with the great yeah, talent they that, had last year. That was a lane violation by Bethel when they should have known that once the ball goes to the shooter, you can't step into the lane. Stokes, the freshman, into. Tally trying to corral the rebound. Not able to do it, but she does. Really impressed with Robinson. So who's who at Bethel tonight, Frank? And you see former players and former coaches. Three-pointer three by Stokes is no good. Rebound Totten. She has five seconds to get up. Crossover goes over half court. She has a chance to shoot it. Three-pointer by Totten is no good. And that's going to end the half. 48-18 Hampton. Well, it makes for a tough halftime for Coach Dean. She's going to have to make something out of what has become a bad evening. But this is the learning moments. This is where, the, you know, Hampton's had their moments too. In fact, last year they were not as sharp as they have been the, the, the previous 10. And so you learn a lot from your losses. And they've got to learn now. They play together as a team, make a few more sharp passes, and draw this thing a little closer. Because Coach Bailey and the Crabbers are not going to lay off. So we got the halftime score here. The Hampton Crabbers 48. About the Bruins 18 will be back after halftime. All right, take a little. How long you, you got? Take it. No, a minute five. We've got seven seconds. Back here at Bethel High School. It is 48-18. The Hampton Crabbers lead the Lady Bruins. In a tough first half, Wu Bay, for the Lady Bruins. Let's let's see what Coach Dean can do here in the second. In a, in a situation like this. They've got to eliminate the turnovers. I mean, Hampton is doing a great job of putting pressure on the young guards. Titans is a sophomore. Davis is a sophomore. You know, they bring in Palmer. She's a junior. Again, these, these players, not to make any excuses, but they haven't had much playing game, play game experience. So it's going to be tough for them to, to take care of that press that Hampton's provided for them. Well, and I know she has the, the experience. She said this is probably the most athletic group of young ladies she's ever coached. And all those years she's coached, and she's coached some really, some really good programs. That's quite a compliment. Yes, now it is. let's see if the athletes can put together a little better half here as Totten gets the ball in. The travel by, by Davis again, another turnover early in the possession, and an un unnecessary turnover really. Hampton's quick, but they're, it's not like there are uh, like five flashes out there. They're, and Bethel can keep up with them speed-wise. They just got to slow down the game in the head a little bit. Ray, over to Mickey. Three-point specialist for Hampton. Franklin, good, it's good pass into Okafor. Okafor misses. Rebound by Totten. Totten, another. That's and a she's foul. called for a foul yep. by on Ray. Looks like it's on Ray. Definitely. In fact, it should have been on Ray. Maybe a, a three steps before the whistle blew. Ray, it's really unnecessary for her. All she has to do is get in front. The, the press has been very effective against Bethel. Totten. Another go to the hole. She takes the layup, and it's no good. Davis with the layup, missed. Franklin with the dive, and it's going to be Bethel's ball. Good hustle by Franklin, though. Yeah, Jelani Davis has got to be careful. She's got three personal fouls. And Coach Bailey of Hampton's going to call a timeout, a 30-second variety, to see if she can't get her team settled down a little bit here. Just as it, it's uh, difficult for the Bethel coach to, to make something out of this deficit, for it Coach is. Bailey and the Crabbers, you can't just ride on a 30-point lead. You've got to continue to work on things because not every night's going to be a 30-point halftime lead. That's true. It, it's tough to learn from a blowout because you, you get a little comfortable and, and you don't work on a lot of things. You just kind of just coast through it. So, and that's how a lot of teams come back as well. 
So hopefully Bethel can put a run together here in the second half. Totten on the inbound. Into Palmer. Uh, the, the pass was back to a spot. Totten in the corner. And you know where she's going to go. Going right to the goal. It's going to be no good. Hainsley gets it. Good, re good rebound by Hainsley. And he, and again, Coach Dean talked about how she was a force on the boards. Mickey dribbles it out. Good play by Mickey. You can speak, see the speed there with Paris Williams keeping up with the guard. Franklin, good move by Franklin. That's her move. No good. good Nobody deep. on Bethel goes and get in it. Franklin gets her own rebound. She's fouled down there, I think, on uh, number four for Bethel, Paris Williams, who may have picked up her fourth foul. She did. So Williams is going to have to sit here in the majority of the second half unless Coach Dean is just going to let him play out their fouls. So Franklin hits her first free throw of the half. Get a good look at Armani Franklin, the senior. Again, she transferred from Williamsburg Christian. Well, she's very quick, so it's hard to get a good look over there. She's <laughs> got to stand still to shoot a free throw. And she sinks two. Here come the Bruins. Titan, good size guard, too. Palmer for three. It's going to be off the glass. Oh, Did she call good. glass? I don't know. She I didn't hear it, yeah. but we'll <laughs> take the three. Empress Palmer, the junior, with the three-point shot. Ray over to Mickey. Crossover by Mickey. She loses it for a minute, gets it back. Almost a steal by, by Bethels into the corner. Franklin, good pass in the Okafor. She loses it. Palmer with the with the steal. Palmer goes up with the – she misses the layup. Rebound by Okafor over to Ray. That would have been five push-ups in practice. We saw that Ray yesterday. Ray with a runner, no good. Titan tries to tip it. Ray tries to save it. Nobody for Bethel wants to get the ball. And Robinson gets it over to Mickey. Coach Bailey says, settle down. And they give up the front of the zone at Okafor. Okafor underneath. with an easy layup. Okafor just being in the right place when she should be, and the guard drives the ball down and dishes it off. Titan behind the back, good move. And she throws it away again. And it's one 2-2 two, two zone that has really frustrated the, uh, the Bruins. I know they practice a lot against the 2-3, but when you have the 1-2-2 two, two, or the 3-2, depending on which way it's uh, conceived, it's hard. The point guard's got to realize you can't go right in the middle. you got to hit the gap. Ray, guarded by Davis, Franklin, left hook, that's Robinson's Robinson shot, that left hand hook, it's 54-23 now, Totten over half court, over to Palmer, no call, she loses it. Dave Bethel's ball. Pressure just giving Bethel all kinds of problems. Well, they got to relax a little bit. I think if they, they would settle down a little bit here in the second half, they'll be more successful. Titan for three. It looks like it's partially blocked. Ray gets it, goes up to Mickey. Mickey's wide open. She's going to go with the right hand, and she's a lefty. Good, good play by Mickey. She gets the easy two. Titan all the way with the right hand layup missed. Rebound Okafor goes to Ray. Mickey again, wide open. This time she goes with the left hand. It's a good. So they're just getting beat back. The Bethel guards have got to get back. Totten tries to go through, and she's trapped, called for traveling. Tough night for Totten as they're putting all kinds of pressure on her. All the energy in the world, but not directed real well tonight. Got to relax a little bit. So Ray and Franklin in the backcourt for the Crabbers. Mickey for three, no good. Rebound by Robinson, no good. Gets her own rebound, puts it back up, no good. Mickey with the, re with the rebound. This time it goes to Franklin, good pump fake. And she's caught for yeah. traveling. Tried to do a jump stop, ended up yeah. landing on two feet. <laughs> so that next little hop was a walk. Looks out of Coach Bailey there. 
and her 16 assistant coaches <laughs> using the uh, Bethel has Craig Breon approach of having an endless event coaches. They always have a generous group of people that give their time. There's a reason why they're 11 and one. Good play by Totten. Good move by Totten. Good layup. Around it, Totten. She could be a force to be reckoned yes. with here. She's only a sophomore. Her and Davis, they can build something off of Davis. They have a fre couple freshmen as well. Franklin. Franklin, good left hand layup, no good. Rebound Davis. Davis brings up the Totten. Totten, another move up to the basket. No it, time, it's no good. That kind of foul is called on Robinson. And Tally got and I, the miss. And I believe it's going to be on the floor. Not a shooting foul. Bruins are going to substitute. Ayana Chambers comes in. Another freshman. For three. That's way off. Davis with the rebound, and she's called for traveling. Bruins can't get a break. And then when you're playing a good team like the Crabbers, it's hard to get a break. And they're certainly not going to give you anything. Inbound play is almost stolen. Robinson. By, by Robinson, Raven Peoples gets the ball. She's guarded by Mickey. Over to Palmer. Palmer's pressured by Ray. Palmer goes under the goal. Layup, no good. Rebound by Davis. Davis is almost take her head taken off. No call over to Mickey. Good pass. No good. And a way to get the shot up. It's going to be a foul. That she got the shot up. Fouls on the Crabbers, number 23, Deja Thompson. Thompson's second. By my count, no, her fourth. Well, Thompson picks up her fourth. More pressure by Hampton, and this time Davis is going to be called for a foul. The ball's going to belong to. Looks like it's going to be Hampton's Hampton. ball, yeah. Substitutions now. Franklin. Franklin. Almost, she thought about the three. This time she goes into Robinson. Good left hand, no good. Rebound Bethel. Good rebound, good outlet. Over to Chambers. Chambers trying to dribble. That's the problem. They're trying to dribble through the double team. Ray goes up for the layup. The lefty, good. The Ray continues to pour it on now. 60 to 25. Travers keep a little bit of a press on. Well, good move by Palmer. No good. Raven Peoples tries to get in there. Ray with the rebound. Ray is quick. And Strong. the Travers all down here. Sixty to twenty-five. Foul called on score. the Crabbers. Foul calling Crabbers. Jayla Mickey, her second. You get a good look at the crowd. And Frank Edgar got a little cameo appearance in that <laughs> shot. <laughs> foul calling the Crabbers. That's Armani Franklin's first foul. No, well, yeah, it was Franklin. Oh, excuse me, her third foul. A little bit of use of the hands there, which that's going to. Concern Coach Bailey some. And Frank, we talked about the success. The three pointer by Totten is no good. Franklin gets the breakout. Missed by Franklin. Rebound. No by call and Franklin catches a hand Talley. in the face. Oh, good crossover by Totten. Layup is good. Good move. So Totten gets away with the foul down at one end and then drives in for the layup on the other. Good move. Ray, good drive into to Robinson. No good. Totten with the rebound. She has to look up. There's, she has Palmer wide open. Gets it to her, and she makes the layup. Good pass by good, Totten. Real good pass. Good, good court presence. So now it's 60 to 29.
Franklin. Travis slowed down a little bit. Ray's wide it. open for three. No good. Rebound Mickey. Mickey goes up at the shot. No good. Rebound Bethel. Shoot, they almost throw it away. Palmer has a chance to get it. Franklin yeah. gets it. Sadly, they didn't throw it away. Oh, good block, and they're going to call a foul. Oh, that was looks like a clean block from our perspective, but two-shot foul. Called on Bethel, number three, Empress Palmer. Palmer's fourth. And Armani Franklin to the line, shoot two. Senior, good free throw shooter. First one is up. And good. Three free throws for her in this quarter. Continue Hansley back in for the Bruins, as well as number 10, Jelani Davis. Again, the success. Losing eight seniors, Frank, for Bethel. New starting lineup. They were state runner-up, Frank, just two years ago. State runner-up in the 6A division. So, I mean, you talk about so much talent they've lost just to get this young team on the court and to get them to buy in is what is what is what coach Dean was trying to say get them to buy into the system right. that she's trying to implement you know it's only her first year as a head coach it's going to take a little time but she has the pieces she does she has the pieces here people yeah. Hansley trying to get her spot down there on the block people just called for traveling too much dribbling I think for the Bruins tonight they're going to have to pass the ball Hansley wide open yeah. on the on the block and she has good post moves too down there. Here's a freshman, another, another young player for Hampton, Lene Stokes. Stokes for three. It's good. Good shot by Lene so Stokes. The freshman. Pure shooter. Good form. Stolen by Robinson. And look at the ball skill she has. Stokes thought about another three. Pass over to another shooter for three. This time. Hangsley and Peoples uh, go for it, and they get for Totten with 21 seconds left. They'll hold for the last shot, I assume. Totten split. They're going to call a foul. Well, Totten is drawing at least three this quarter by doing the driving like that. Not a shooting foul for Totten, though. Ball out underneath for the Bruins. 65-29 is the score. As Tally inbounds. Eight Number 24 seconds. Reigns. Somebody has to look, look at the clock. Tally goes in and scores. Good play. Romani Tally gets a bucket for the Bruins there right before the buzzer. Draws them a little closer. They lost four points. They were down 30 at half. They lost four in that quarter. So a much stronger quarter exactly. that we've seen. <laughs> Bethel cheerleaders. There's about three squads. Yeah. Big squad there. It's uh, my friend Cameron Davis there, the ninth grader in the back row with the oh, glasses. Yeah. Cameron and her twin brother Kellen here at, at Bethel High School this year. Cameron a competitive cheerleader and Kellen a competitive horseback rider. Awesome. They have a real good, you know, the, the, each of the high schools in Hampton have a different academy. I believe it's the medical arts here. This is health and science, yeah, the, the medical field here. Of course, Hampton has the IB in the aerospace. Kicked in, I know, with the performing arts. Phoebus with the uh, yeah, robotics, culinary arts culinary and robotics. Arts, yep. So a lot of options here in Hampton. And Hampton adding a law enforcement uh, Absolutely. A I've heard program about that. coming up. So Hampton has gone to that model, and I think it's going to be a huge success here in the city. Ray, Ray gets fouled. About on the floor. Johnny Davis picks up at least her fourth. I'm a little behind on marking here. That may be five. It is five. So Davis is fouled out. That's going to be a huge loss for Bethel. Now in comes Empress Palmer, the junior. Grabbers are so quick, it is hard to buy. That's a good, good, good steal. steal. 
uh, tally, Armani tally, having a strong second half. He dribbles off of a foot, triple teamed almost, tries to get rid of it, brought it too low. One thing when you're a, a, a player, mm. most known to be a post player, never bringing as low as the guards. You know, some of them have got to be, uh, somebody's got to be open. When there's three on you, you got to look around and see who's standing wide open. Palmer in inbounds. Number five, Ayana Chambers. Chambers. She's fouled on the corner there. Foul call on the Crabbers. It's uh, going to be a one and one for, for Bethel. Now goes on number three for the Crabber, Lene Stokes. Her second. Timeout Bethel. You see the the wall of fame over here. Yeah, on this look at that. Mr. Saunders. Ralph Saunders, of course, the principal at Bethel High School there. Next Got to the it. young lady in the yellow. Three. Official done a nice job. It's a very yeah. quick game. Yeah, absolutely. We, we talked a little bit about this uh, game beforehand, about the girls' game in general. And we're seeing the athleticism that's here on the peninsula Absolutely. in the Peninsula District and in the South Ham Southeast Hampton or Southeastern Virginia in the 757 as they call it. And that's what Coach Dean talked about, how athletic the girls are in this area compared to where she's from in the Tennessee. And then Tennessee, the heart of, of girls' yeah. basketball. They just had they just signed four McDonald's All Americans right to that program I just saw yesterday. So to Tennessee, Tennessee itself, trying yeah. to Catch up with the Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You signed yeah. all the other. Well, they've got a long way yeah. to go. 91 straight games. So. so for the Bethel girls, Ayana Chambers at the free throw line, shooting a one and one. No good. Hainsley Hansley. with the with the rebound, she loses it. Falls to falls down. They call it travel. India Hansley with good hands. Yes. That time just got away from her. Good positioning too. Ray, good pressure by Chambers. Gets it over to number 20, number 25, Brown. And Brown, was that Stokes. Stokes? Stokes travels. Well, notice that the Crabbers, the one thing the Crabbers do that the Bruins are not doing is that they're in their spot. So even if there's a, 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 an errant throw, they're in their spot. So the throw may be to somebody different, but there's somebody covering. And Another turnover. A, and I forgot to mention, Frank, there's a new rule in the Junior High School League Kind of like the football running clock on the girls game. If there's a 30 point lead, it's a running clock. It just was implemented this year, which is a great rule because you see a lot of the blowouts and, you know, with the clock stopping, the, the clock's going to keep running. You speak to what we call the Gloucester rule. Yeah. Here, they, <laughs> yeah. they used to beat people to death. And oh, for sure. So they implemented that year. I'm not sure about the boys game, but I know the girls game put it in this year. Three point shot. Good rebound over there by Palmer. Dick, uh, Mickey missed it, and she one like dribble went up for it, and no call. As a, a freshman, Paris Williams comes in for for Bethel. Totten with the inbound to Paris Williams, the freshman. Good, good move by Williams. No good rebound. Puts it back up, no good. Another rebound by Bethel, no good. This time, Ray gets it on the rebound. Good effort by Paris Williams, another young player, freshman. Yeah, these are one of those games you just remember when you're in practicing and you want to go another 15 minutes, you use this as inspiration if you're Bethel. Over to Wilkins. Ray, Wilkins thought about it. Mickey, she's a three-point shooter. Shooter is, shot is no good. Rebound by Peoples. You can see why she shoots though. She's long or short, she's rarely left or right. Yep. It's a sign of a good shooter. Yep. Over to Totten. Totten. Williams, good pass into number two, Tally. Tally misses it. Good rebound D -bound. by Brown. Alexia Totten Brown. The rebound. She goes all the way. Block. It's going to be a one and one. And yeah, Totten draws the foul. She's done that a couple times. I'm not sure you get that in a close game. But she's she caught. I think it was a, a, a Ray, Amaya Ray with her feet moving. Yeah. Ray with her third foul. So the wholesale changes for the Crabbers. But that means just another six footer coming in the lineup. <laughs> Okafor. 
We'll say Deja Thompson back in. Totten with the free throw. So Totten, Totten in double figures now. Totten played a little bit last year as a freshman. It was hard to break into that hard lineup, to break that though, lineup. Yeah. yeah, with uh, Graydon Williams. Great rebound there by Empress Palmer. And she's fouled on the putback. Again, the junior, Palmer, in there with some of the trees. Palmer's a junior. You know, we've seen the Bethel JV girls come in. Yeah. And they've got some height coming. Yeah. And you take the speed of Totten, and Palmer, and Davis, and you add it with that. I think Coach Dean's got to consider off to being off to a good start. Again, first year. I mean, you know, Bailey had the luxury of coming into a, to a program over at Hampton where, where some of the players were already established. You had Ray, who's played varsity, had varsity experience. You had. Franklin, who came over from Williamsburg, Christian, had experience. Well, that was just a fine. Yeah, you know, that, yeah, that was a great fine. Yep. Well, I think that's made the difference. Oh yeah. Uh, to put them where they are now, yeah, absolutely. Which, you know, with with only one loss. Hampton girls have two state championships over there on Queen Street. One of them was uh, Coach Bennett, the assistant, assistant coach. coach. That's right. And David Six was the head coach on both of them. He's over at Hampton University. Shot is no good. Rebound by Paris Williams. We're good. I like her. She's Body a good-looking freshman. Left hand, good left hand dribble by Williams. She throws it up, and it's no good. Palmer with the rebound, no good, no call. They're going to just let him play. Brown, they're going to call Brown for the foul. I mean, Br Brown get the, gets the rebound. Yeah, it looks like Peoples, Peoples may have foul. picked it up. Raven Peoples, a senior. She does draw the foul. Her first. Here come the Crabbers. And it's. Yeah, Tally's going to be called for the foul. She had her hands around Okafor's waist. It's like they're going to count the basket. That's Okafor. No, they, they didn't look like they did. They called oh, it. it looks on like the side out. Oh, I thought they counted it. Me too. So the foul. Hainsley comes by back Tally, in. Tally, her second. In the hands of somebody they've got to have in there. She yeah. has that presence in the middle. Makes it difficult for the Okafers and Robinsons of the world. Franklin for three. In and out. Robinson, rebound by Robinson. Quick rebound. She is a stud down low. Very quick hands. Totten. Oh, behind the back. Kicks it out to number, number three Palmer. No good. Good move by Totten. Alexia Brown with really a lot of good rebounds tonight. Not one of the taller players on the floor, but good body position. Good sense of where the ball is going to come off. Oka for wide open. Good yeah. post move. Miscommunication on defense by Bethel. Looks like Bethel's going to call another timeout. The last 139 in the game. Well, they, again, they're only down three in this quarter from where they were to start the quarter. So there's been some improvement. You can build off of some of these things. Meanwhile, Shonda Bailey trying to keep her team focused. It is a wild game out here tonight and a good crowd. Great crowd. I'm good. not sure if it's considered a sellout yet, but no, all the stands are Well, I know that uh, a couple of the young ladies here, one of them played for the Crabbers. One of them is Coach Brown's sister as well. And you can see four assistant coaches there that we saw at practice yesterday. Yeah. That helps Coach Bailey focus her efforts. Yesterday was on those getting her right. centers and her forwards to move against the zone defense. And we've seen some of that benefit tonight. There's a lot of situational stuff going on. See a lot of uh, familiar faces from the, from Darling Stadium here at Bethel High. Well, our good friend Matt Hatfield, who's so helpful for us uh, to get in our statistics. Matt over there in the blue, yep. darker blue jacket right behind the scores table. You see it there on the left behind the word Bethel. He Matt does a morning radio show. Yep. I want to commend him on that. I, I try to catch it every Saturday morning, no matter where I am. Him and Ed Young. 
They do a great job. So back to action here. Clock continues to run. As Williams inbounds. To Hainsley, good cut by Totten. Foul called on the crowd that time. Totten drew another foul. And she just drives right into the crowd. Still playing hard, Frank. Two shots for Totten on that. With the 10 fouls ten called fouls. on the crowd. That does stop the clock with a free throw shot. First shot is good. Six free throw points for Totten so far by my record. And you know, Tony Rutland alluded to this, Frank. He talked about how he's he's a first year coach. He's not not used to losing. He's a he's a winner. As we talked to him at halftime of the football football game, and just like Coach Dean, she's used to winning. She's a state championship player, and you know you come into a season like this, which is a little a little tough. You just try to build off of some of these games, and like you said, they they won the fourth quarter. You yeah. know, I mean, as far as getting more points than they did in the, the previous that's three. That's how you so, do it. You know, I know it's tough on her. You know, she's used to winning. She's coming from a winning program in high school and in college. But the future is definitely bright at Bethel. Well, Nama Okafor, good rebound, and she put it right back up. Was fouled by Hansley, her second. Two shots for Okafor. Free throw shooting has been awesome for Hampton. Boys teams already coming out on the floor, getting ready to play. A, it's going to be a good ball game. Stay Second with us. Free throw is off. Rebound by the Crabbers. And come along the Bruins as it rolled off of the hands there of the Crabbers. Look like at number 12, DeLacy Casper. Here comes Totten Totten again. Behind the back. Franklin, good spin. It was pop on the sideline there. Ball belongs to the Bruins. Clock continue running under 30 seconds now, and Coach Dean continuing to direct Ariana Totten. Totten's going to see an opening and go. Here she goes. Foul call. She drew it on Okafor. Totten just is determined to get to the cup every time. Well, and every time those the, 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 the defenders step forward, yeah. she's so quick that she catches a mid-step and draws the foul. So Totten back to the line. Her ninth and tenth free throws of the night. Free throw is good. Second free throw is good. Eight for ten from the line in the last three quarters. Well, Travers is going to run the clock out here and secure their what would be the 13th win on the year. Okafer puts a cap on it with a bucket, and that does it. The Crabbers get the win tonight, 70-36 to 36 over the Bethel Bruins. Tough night for the Bruins, but hopefully something they can learn from. The Absolutely. Crabbers got to feel good about playing a game that was a little bit disjointed. But nonetheless, able to get the win and the all-important win. Well, we're gonna, it does it here for the girls' game. We're going to be back with the broadcast of the boys' game here. Final score here, the Buffalo Bruins 70. And the, excuse me, the Crabbers 70 and the Bruins 36. We'll be back in just a few minutes.